Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. All praise are due to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, Lord of the universe. May peace and blessing be upon Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muhammad peace be upon him. His last and final messenger. May peace and blessing be upon his companions, his wives, his family, and whomever follow on their footsteps. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I greet you with the Islamic peaceful greeting. And I congratulate you and becoming a Muslim and deciding to join and embrace the last and final religion sent to mankind by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may peace and blessing be upon you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for making this beautiful decision. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill your life with happiness, prosperity, and success. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you paradise in the hereafter. Ameen. This is basically going to be, inshallah, a short series to new Muslims. And uh, I'm going to try to be brief in it. And I, I'm going to uh, also link you to some you know, useful sites and uh, good articles that inshallah you can trust to learn more about Islam. And you know, so you can gain the knowledge throughout your journey into becoming a stronger Muslim and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone when you are doing any act of worship you know you have to do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without worrying about anything and anybody else so that's a must so when you're testifying the testimony of faith you don't have to only say it by your tongue but you also have to start acting upon it and doing it in your daily life and you know uh, act upon it in all life aspect and all form of ibadah. The word ibadah in Arabic it means all. Basically, it's an Arabic word that you know conclude all acts of worship, whether it's physical prayer, spiritual prayer, prayer with your tongue, whether it's a charity that you basically give to the poor, whether it's the act of Hajj pilgrim to Mecca, which is you know you will do inshallah later on. <clears throat> so any act of worship that you're going to do as a Muslim, it must be done for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. To please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone with no partners whatsoever. The other thing, the other part of the testimony of faith is that you have to do everything in Islam according to the sunnah, to the way of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. How do we learn that? We learn all Islamic aspects from two main sources. Quran, which is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the noble Quran, the noble book. That's the main source for all Islamic knowledge. Second, the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam that was compiled in books authenticated by scholars who actually physically
people uh, listened from them and heard from them and wrote down all those you know sayings and actions from trustworthy sources so that nobody came and lied to him about these th things and he was very strict so we know that the most trusted source in Islamic information after the Quran is Sahih al-Bukhari then we have Sahih Muslim so those two books after the Quran and then later on you know we'll talk about the other books later on but those are the you know two hadith books two of the saying of the Prophet ﷺ books that we trust as Muslim so you basically when you become a Muslim you testify you act upon it in your daily life you follow the Quran and you follow the Sunni the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu when you follow the Quran and the Sunni you must act it and live it the way the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi took it and put it into action why let me give you an example if somebody give you uh, a recipe to you know making a meal or doing something and basically modified it and you do it is it gonna be the same recipe as the original writer uh, you know the same way you know he did it or she did it obviously it's not it's gonna be different so when we when we try to follow Quran and the saying and actions of the Prophet Muhammad we take it from the Quran and the Sunni and we understand it according to the understanding of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, because they are the one who lived with the Prophet وسلم, and took all this knowledge and apply it into action and showed us and led by examples they showed us how all these things are done they showed us how to be faithful they showed us how we can